Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and welcome to Selah Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I have the privilege of being the pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center in Round Rock, Texas, a suburb of Austin, Texas. I want to thank all of my family, our family and friends that encourage us by sharing, subscribing, give us comments, encouraging us even when we run into you. Thank you so, so much for that. God, Son, and I, we appreciate the love, man, and we're, we're doing it unto him. It's all for the glory of God, not for our own. We're not trying to be famous, just faithful. We just want to do what God called us to do. Let's pray, beloved, and we'll continue with our seal, I thought. Father, we thank you again for our time together. As we always say, don't let us waste the people's time, each other's time, and more importantly, your time. Come by your spirit and speak to us, your people and what you want us to hear. In Christ's name, amen. All right, beloved, I want to continue what I started, times and seasons, and it is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. The Amplified Version reads, There is a season, a time appointed for everything, and a time for every delight and event and purpose under the heaven. We've established one kingdom truth, and that is that as long as we're here on this earth, that the Christian life consists of spiritual times and spiritual seasons. And we've done an extensive teaching before on the timepiece, on when it says times and seasons. Now, we have been using the, uh, the information provided by blogger Courtney Richards on the different seasons that believers go through. And the last time we were together, we said, first of all, there is the dry season. Luke chapter 11, verse 24, talks about when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places. In your dry season, if you're not careful, beloved, it's the place where Satan is roaming because the Bible says the unclean spirit walketh through dry places. And David understood what it meant to be in a dry place because in uh, Psalm 63, 1, again, the King James Version, he said, it reads, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, my soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longeth for thee, in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Now here's what Courtney says. He says this, that the dry season is no doubt a tough season. For Christians, it usually, watch this, for Christians, it's usually called a spiritual dryness or a dry season. It's when God is quiet, and you can't hear his voice or sense his presence. And I don't know about you, beloved. I'm not trying to go through this life without being able to hear his voice or sense his presence. And you know, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Let me just say something to you again. Quit calling these numbers and trying to get people to, to hear God for you. You can go directly to God and talk to him for yourself. I always like to say his area code is 333, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call upon me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things. But Courtney goes on to say it in that dry season is when God is quiet and you can't hear his voice or sense his presence as you once did. He seemed very distant. He goes on to say, I believe one of the keys in getting through this challenging season is realizing that you're in this particular season and you have to press your way through it. He said you have to press your way through it. He says, in other words, listen now, you got to still draw close to God. You can't let your prayer life wither. You can't let your, watch this, you can't let your Bible reading wither even when it seems like you don't sense him. He says, listen, even though it seems like he's quiet, you cannot discontinue reading your word. You cannot discontinue praying. In Psalms 37, Courtney says, verse number uh, seven, it says, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. He goes on to say, in this season, it's also good to do a self-examination. When you're in your dry season, he says, it's good to do a self-examination. In other words, check to see if there's anything that may be causing the silence or the dryness. Now, the psalmist said it like this. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. In other words, beloved, if we are in a sinful behavior pattern, 
You shut up heaven from here. You, you, you will not hear from heaven. If you and I are living willful, disobedient lives, you and I will not have the ear of God. This is what Courtney says. In other words, check to see if there's anything that may be causing the silence or dryness. Now, let me just show you this. Because see, saints don't know Satan deceives us. And we think just because we're not out there committing adultery, drinking in the clubs, that, you know, we're good to go. But for some of us, it's your gossip. For some of us, it's your pride. For some of us, if you got an opinion, you're going to say what you need to say, and you don't care who it offends and all this and how you say it, and you think God just going to put up with you. I'm telling you, beloved, the Bible says every idle word we're going to give an account of. And God tells us how we are to speak to one another and to his people. See, beloved? So don't don't get, don't just think top 10 sins as I like to call them, okay? But Courtney says, in this season, it's also good to do a self-examination. In other words, to see if there's anything that may be causing the silence or the dryness, like unconfessed sin. If you think so, confess it, ask for forgiveness, repent, and keep drawing closer to God. Remember the word says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then in Proverbs it says, he that confesseth his sin and forsaketh it shall obtain mercy. See, it's not enough, beloved, just to confess your sins, for us to confess our sins, not your sins, confess our sins. We confess and forsake. And even that sin that you're having problems forsaking, ask God to help you. He knows it because we all got these little besetting sins. You know, we all got our little favors, right? That be kind of pat on the head like a little puppy. <laughs> y'all y'all, y'all, y'all ain't got to be all saints. Yeah, you got them little, we got these little pet sins. It's like a little beautiful puppy. Oh, you so beautiful. Because don't, don't let nobody tell you. I don't care what these preachers say to us. The truth is, the Bible says sin is pleasurable. <laughs> sin is pleasurable. No, I don't care what nobody say. Sin is pleasurable, but here's what it says. Sin is pleasurable for a season. Because after a while, when it turns and bites us, it's bad, beloved. But he says we need to do some self-examination in, in our dry season. He says we need to check to see if there's anything that may be causing God's silence or the dryness, right? He says if you confess your sins, ask for forgiveness, repent, and then keep drawing closer to God because he's a loving, caring, sharing heavenly father. This is what he goes on to say. And i tell you one more thing, he says. i tell you one thing about dry seasons. They don't last forever. Even in the Bible, when people was facing dry seasons, remember what Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 17 and 18? Elijah told them after they repented and came back to God, Elijah says, I hear there's a sound of an abundance of rain. And I'm saying to those of you that will search, those of us that will search ourselves and let God examine us, when you get it right, that's coming in your life, in my life, the sound of an abundance of rain. What does rain mean? Blessings and favor. You do some soul searching, beloved, because your dry season, you just may be the cause of it based on your position to the sun. Again, if you want to email us, beloved, please email us at kgcc at gmail.com. Shout out to my beloved wife and family, to my grandbabies and my daughters and the men in their lives, son-in-laws. Thank you again, Team Carmichael, the stream team, for helping us, my godson, Xavier. You can always visit us by visiting our website, kgccatx.org. We live stream Facebook and we're on YouTube. You can Join us for one of our in-person services, Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., Tuesday night Bible study, Bible study 75 at 7 p.m. This is Pastor Fred Moore, Selah Moments with Pastor Moore. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved. Blessings.